Hi, I'm Patty with Comox Business Systems in Charleston, West Virginia. Today I'm going to be showing you two methods of printing onto an envelope. And the reason that there are two methods, um, method one, the envelopes will not wrinkle. Method two, they'll wrinkle a little bit, but it's, the process is a little bit faster. So I want to show you both of them so that you can decide which fits your workflow the best. When you're using the preferred method of uh, running your envelopes, what you want to do is set your copier up first. So you're going to come in, put your envelopes short end into the copier, flap up. Make sure that your guides are snug there. So once your menu pops up, you want to come over to where it says standard size and go to other and select envelope comp 10. Okay. Now you're ready to run the envelopes from the copier on the preferred method. So let's take a look at how to run um, envelopes with the preferred method. So first thing you're going to do is pull up your template that you set up for your envelope. You're going to go into your printer properties or preferences. Go to your basic tab. Now you want to make sure if your print driver is defaulted to two side two-sided and you can tell by looking at the little uh, picture here make sure that you go over to layout and change that back to single-sided so let's go back to the basic tab and you'll notice that the original size pulled over from Word and it tells you that it's envelope comp 10 your paper size should say say same as original now down below here where it says paper tray we need to tell the copier where we want to pull the envelope from. So we're going to do a drop down here. We're going to select bypass tray. Now over to the right where it says paper settings for each tray. We also have to change it here. You can see the paper type right now is plain paper. Now you can do this one of two ways. If you have a newer biz hub, you can select reflect device status and it'll pick up the envelope setting if you have your copier set to envelope already. If not, just come over and do your drop down and select envelope. Touch OK, OK, and print. And this should give you an envelope that has no wrinkles in it. And this is how you load your envelopes into the bypass. Flap up, short edge into the copier, and make sure your guides are snug and you're ready to roll. Okay, this is the uh, method two that I'm going to show you how to uh, make your selections on the panel. So under your paper size, you're going to go down to standard size, you're going to go to other, and you're going to select comp 10. Now, the only difference in this method is rather than going to envelope, you need to put it on, on the paper type on plain paper and touch OK or close. You're going to go to mailings, envelopes, key in your delivery address. Okay, let's go down to our options. And under your envelope options, you want to make sure that your size is size 10. So now let's go to our printing options. Under your feed method, you want to go to the fifth picture over. You want to select face down. Now the feed from, um, I'm running on Windows 10. So, you know, it's gonna, you're going to select the default tray bypass tray here. If you're running another version, it may just say default tray auto. So that's what you would want to select there. So at this point, we're going to say OK and print. And again, with this method, uh, you will see a little bit of wrinkling on the envelope. 